and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have been sharing my weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. Since then, I've lost over 125 pounds and I continue to share the ups and downs and everything I've learned on my journey with all of you. If that sounds like something that would be helpful, I would love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, we're doing two really fun things. I'm going to be testing out my mile for time out on the track here. Now, I have not been to the track in a really long time, so this should be really interesting. I've done plenty of running on the treadmill at the gym, but outside running, as most of you know, is a little bit different. So I'm curious to see what my time is for a full mile here on the track. While I'm here, I have the really cool opportunity to test out the Xbox Go gimbal. So what this device should do is I'm going to have my phone mounted in here, and it should be able to track me using its patented AI as I run around the track. So we're going to test that out today. It should be able to follow me and I hope that you're not too judgy on my running form because I haven't seen it on video ever really. I was so excited to try out the Xbox Go gimbal. This thing is just awesome and the kit comes with everything you could possibly need. Now there are a few different price points for the different kits so definitely check those out at the link below. Quick unboxing this it does come with a remote control this is really super handy when you are going to be on the go and not standing right in front of the camera it also includes a small tripod so you can set this up on a table in addition to that my kit that I purchased came with an extremely sturdy tripod that you will see the gimbal itself is really solid and sturdy it's easy to set up the buttons are easy to turn on and it just has a really good I don't know what the word to describe it is maybe a good hand feel like you can hold it really easily. I was really impressed by how nice this thing is. The key features of the Xbox Go are going to be the AI tracking. It's got several different types of modes, including sports modes that will help you film soccer, basketball, hockey, football, rugby, lacrosse, whatever sport you're involved in. It also has really accurate tracking with Follow Me 2.0, which uses re-identification tech to identify and lock onto athletes by appearance, body shape, and jersey number. The other cool thing, you can actually live stream from the app. It's so easy to set up. It only took me a really, just a short few minutes to get the app installed, connect the Xbox Go, and be ready to film. Something else I'm sure we all can really appreciate nowadays is that with the Xbox Go app, you don't have to subscribe to anything. It is a subscription-free experience. Every user gets 20 gigabytes of free storage and there's nothing to sign up for. You just open the app and set it up and start filming. It makes life so much easier. The Xbox Go app also has some really cool features for you sports fanatics out there. If you're filming team sports, there's the ability to actually put a live scoreboard right over your game. This would be so amazing for you soccer parents out there. I think you would love it. Filming your kids footage and being able to capture them in the action would be so much fun. At this point in my run, I was feeling pretty good. You can see here the AI did sort of lose me just a little bit, but look how far back I got before it did. Just gotta keep on going. Almost there. At this point in my run, I was feeling pretty good, so I gave my cameraman, aka my husband Tim, who I appreciate for helping me with this video, 
I gave him the thumbs up to go ahead and move the camera to a different spot on the field to see if it did a better job of tracking me around. It definitely did when I was closer to the football field at the track. So you can see it's really doing a great job tracking me as I run. And even though it did end up losing me again, again, look how small I am in the view of the camera. I mean, I'm impressed that it was capturing as much as it could here. It did an amazing job picking me back up when I came back into the field of view. So it performed much better when it had the lines of the field. I was really impressed by this, especially, I mean, look at the screen. I'm so tiny. I was feeling really good at this point in my run and this is exactly where in just a second you're going to see the AI kind of said, oh, there she is and it found me. So it's going to track me as I am running up and finishing up my mile for time. I was impressed with how good I felt on this run. I have not done an outdoor run in quite some time. It has been a long while since I've been at the track and I actually felt amazing and my run time ended up being just slightly above 12 minutes, which is very close to what my treadmill time is. So check it out. That was the AI just zooming in because it found me. It recognized my body shape, probably the color of my amazing leggings that I'm wearing there. And it was able to track me as I finished my run. Woo! So just about 12 minutes for my full mile for time out here on the track. That actually tracks with what I do at the gym on the treadmill. So I'm pretty proud of myself and I feel really good too. Although it is muggy as heck out here. Now, as far as the Xbox Go goes, I, it didn't quite track me. It would lose me a little bit around the track. It's really designed to track sports players on a field. So that could be why. Now, if I was doing something at a closer distance, granted I was going all the way around the track, so that's pretty far. If I was doing something at closer distance, I think it would have done a better job. In fact, it's tracking me right now. And so you can kind of see that as I move, it follows along with me. So I'm just gonna walk back and forth so you can get an idea of what it can actually do. I could see what it's doing at a close distance and I'm pretty impressed overall. The fact that it can follow me and track me as far as it did is worth noting. I also want to say it was really, really easy to set up. And this is my very first time using it. There might be some settings that I personally haven't explored yet that would help me capture that footage as I went around the entire track. If you want more information on the Xbox Go, it comes in several different kits. You can check them out using the link in the description box below. Let me know what you thought about my mile for time. I'm not out here trying to be the fastest person ever, but if this is something you'd like to see me try to improve, leave me a comment down below with a purple heart. That way I know that you've watched the video all the way to the end. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If this is your first time here, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to click the little bell that way you get a notification every time I upload a new video and until next time I'll see you real soon bye